out with the old and in with the new. Oh guys, that thing looks sweet. <laughs> How's it going guys? Josh here with Tracks RC and today I am bringing you episode 3 in our TRX4 Sport upgrade series. If you missed episode 2, I'll put a link in the description for you to watch it. So the body that we got is a Proline Ford F250 body. Um, it's one of those cab only bodies. Um, this one in particular is actually meant for the SCX10 trail honcho. So we did have to do a little bit more trimming than we would like to, but it actually turned out really good. We had to trim out a little bit on the fenders around the front bumper and around the back here to fit the battery, if you can see it. And we had to take off the rock sliders. We had to remove the rear inner fenders because they looked really goofy. And we also had to remove the rear bumper. But we did keep the bumper mount on just to add more rigidity to the chassis. In addition to removing those specific components, um, we also had to raise the front body post, and we actually kept the back ones in the stock position. However, with the back body post, we had to drill a hole going this way instead of going towards the front of the body because we weren't able to get a body clip in because the um, scale fuel tank integrated in the back half cage was interfering with the body clip. At this time, we would like to thank Paul from Proline Racing for giving us this back half cage at our Sea Fest. Thanks a ton, Paul. It really means a lot to us at Trax RC, and we really appreciate the support. As you can see on the back half cage, we installed a um, fuel can, a cooler, and on the other side right here, we installed a fire extinguisher. If you are wondering, yes, we are planning on getting a spare tire in the future to mount on the cage. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC.